Guess what? The prologue is out. And also, happy birthday ESO. Ten years going. And I've been playing it for five. And it's also, well, first day of the anniversary event. Which, well yeah, happy birthday ESO. <laughs> um, but I went ahead and picked up the prologue. And, oh. Yes, I'm doing it on my Arcanist. I know I've mostly done the prologues on my Necromancer. But since this is a continuation of the Necrom storyline, we're doing it on my Arcanist. And I will still run it probably later on all of my other characters. But let's see what this quest is all about. I received a letter from Laramel the Wise. Hermaeus Mora, Daedric Prince of Fate, requires a mortal proxy. The Dramora Torvasard seeks to unlock a secret hidden in the vaults of Apocrypha. If he succeeds, reality itself could be in danger. Well, we know that. So we should find Laramil in the Outlaw's Refuge of Wayrest, Elden Root, or Mournhold. Okay, well, we're gonna go to Elden Root since we are High Elf, part of the Dominion. Laramil. Thank you for bringing the echo near. We will need this relic. Speaking of relics, things <gasps> Chief Bazarov of the Old Swan Pit. I want to know why. Indeed. How did my unwelcome guests find their way to Bedlam Vale? I am curious. Good orcs died, little prince. I'm not curious. I'm angry. <laughs> Chief Frozrog, what you doing here? Old relics, new enemies. I have no liking for any of this. Malakath instructed me to find this strange mage and tell her about the staff stolen from the Old Sworn Pit. I have done so. My part in this is done. Yeah. Okay. Well, wait. You said someone stole a staff from the from Old Sworn Pit. The staff of many paths, or so it's called. No one seems to know exactly how or when it came to be locked up in the Oathsworn pit. I wonder if that was part of the dungeon it must have DLC. Been there for a long time. The recollection escaped with it when we fought off their attack. It probably was. I just haven't played it. The recollection? Mercenaries? Cultists of some kind. Most of them were wood elves. They came to the Old oh. Pit to recruit new members from the warrior lodges there. Or so they said. When our people refused to join up, they attacked. Okay. That's interesting. That's good to know. What about you? Someone went to great lengths to examine the Echinea. Strange. I never gave that dusty old relic a second look. Clearly, it was more important than I thought. A problem for Hermaeus Mora and Laramil now, I suppose. Who are you? You may not know me, mortal, but I know you. I am an admirer of your work. I am Farnui Ten, the demi-prince of Maelstrom. From time to time, I reproach the spirits of warriors who fall without knowing why. Some of them lost to you. You're a Daedric prince? Oh, not this tiresome conversation again. If you must put a name to it, I am a demi-prince. A scion of Boethia and patron to all who seek to excel in combat. Have no fear, though. We will not cross blades before you are ready. Okay. Interesting. And what exactly happened in Bedlam Vale? Some impertinent fool calling herself the blind thought I wouldn't mind if she and her little band of cultists came to Maelstrom and rooted through my collection of trinkets. I gather they were looking for the Echoneer. What's the Echoneer? A large petrified eyeball excreted Ooh. by Hermaeus Mora himself. Ooh. I've had it since I don't know when. I used it as a paperweight. <laughs> but it seems Mora had a purpose for the Echoneer all along. Well, it was boring. I'm happy to be rid of it. Well, that's probably not a good thing, though. Thank you for answering my summons, Proxy. I am afraid our respite has reached its end. 
We saved Apocrypha from Vermina and Periite, but it seems Torvasard has embarked on a new design. Hermaeus Mora has need of you again. What do you mean by a new design? Torvasard seeks to return to the Mythos, the heart of Apocrypha. He intends to restore Ethelia, the Daedric prince he once served. He has already opened two glyphics to revive her memory. He cannot be allowed to unlock the final glyphic. And I'm guessing that's either the, what the prologue is going to get to, or we'll find out that it's somewhere in where we're in the area of Cyrodiil that we're going for the chapter. But I thought Torvasard couldn't get back to the mythos. Torvasard <clears throat> cannot force his way into the mythos against Mora's will. But Mora is unable to perceive his movements. There may be a way for Torvasard to sidestep Mora's ban and reach the vault of the glyphic. Here, take the Echonir. You will need it. And well, wait, I already kind of asked what it is, but can you ex well, no, they don't really No, Larimal might know exactly what it is. A relic forged by Hermaeus Mora. The Echonir can corporealize distinct foci. That is, it can reveal echoes of past events related to the Forgotten Prince. Choices made ages ago now menace our world. The Echonir can help us understand them. How do I use the Echonir? When you come to a location associated with Prince Athelia, hold forth the Echonir to draw out and observe any lingering memories. <clears throat> you may also need to perceive the threads of fate as I do. I have a spell for that. And remind me, why do we need to stop Torvasard from remembering Prince Athelia? Because Hermaeus Mora has foreseen that a restored Prince Athelia threatens the very foundations of reality, endangering Apocrypha, Nern, and all of existence. The one who knows needs mortal aid to avert catastrophe. Very well. Where do we begin? Hermaeus Mora cannot see Torvasard. But he can sense threads of fate disturbed by Torvasard's actions. The threads are fraying in Grotwood, Reaper's March, and Stone Falls. I will open a portal to each place. Choose one, and we shall go. Can you explain how could everyone forget a Daedric Prince? Hermaeus Mora reached into every mind, mortal and immortal, and erased all memory of Athelia. His work, however, was not perfect. A select few sensed that something had been taken from them. And Harry he could not Vermina. erase his own memory of what he had done. So who was Athelia? What happened to her? Torvasard calls Athelia the Prince of Paths, the Mistress of the Untraveled Road, the Fate Changer. Your guess about what that all means is as good as mine, Proxy. As for her fate... I imagine that secret is locked in the final glyphic. And remind us, how did Torvasard remember her if everyone else forgot? Torvasard said he was tormented by half-remembered dreams. A strange thing, as Daedra do not dream the way we mortals do. The sense of something missing drove him to search for answers. That search finally led him to Apocrypha. Yep. All right. Oh wait, she gotta open the portals. Um, stone falls. Oh, there they are. Uh, I mean, we're already technically in Gratwood. We're just in the Outlaws Refuge, so teleport to the other side of the map. An alien ruin. Interesting. Do you perceive the threads of fate? The yes, I do. Mark Torvisard's trail. Follow them. I will search the surroundings for any other hidden signs. Okay. Kind of like following those things I've been following for the Sigic Order questline. Let's see where... Oh, up here. I have little time to waste. And the little green lights down into the reliquary. Well, 
well now. Perhaps my <gasps> luck is changing for the better. It's Baragon. I remember you. Man, you really are short compared to my high elf. A fellow adventurer? The name's Baragon, friend. I could use a hand. I'm on the trail of a group known as The Recollection. I'm not sure what they're after in these ruins, but I intend to find out. I don't suppose you're after them too? I'm not sure. What can you tell me about The Recollection? They're an elusive lot. Something between a secret society, a mercenary company, and a cult. I caught wind of people disappearing, and I think they're involved. If you're not after the recollection, why are you here? I'm looking for a Dramora named Torvasard. Dangerous quarry. But you look like you know what you're doing. It's strange that my pursuit of the recollection and your hunt for Torvasard led us both to these old ruins. That does give me an idea, though. What do you have in mind? I propose we work together. There are more recollection here than I care to tangle with by myself. But maybe we can get some answers together. We can figure out why they're interested in the Reliquary of Stars. Why we look for your elusive Dramora. Alright then, let's head on in. I overheard a recollection mage named Endegore mention a hidden shrine in the ruins. Something about a waterfall in the Flesh Gardens. Oh, the Not Flesh the most Gardens. pleasant appellation, but maybe we should start there. It's somewhere to the north. Can you tell me anything else about the recollection? It seems to be a revival of an ancient alien cult. Oh. Or some kind of alien inspired military order, perhaps. There are a lot of wood elves in their ranks, I'm sorry to say. It's strange. I never even heard of them until a few months ago. What led you to look into them? I heard rumors about recollection groups poking around alien ruins back in Westweald, and people started disappearing around the same time, including a few I happened to know. I can't say if they were abducted or recruited. Well, I guess we'll find out. Cracked acorns. I don't like the look of these statues. Watch your step in here, friend. You know it's sunnier in here than I remember. Probably because of the quest line. Look, is that a door behind the waterfall? I suppose it is. It is. Moon Shadow Shrine. Ooh. Ruins hidden within ruins. The recollection is here, all right. Be ready for trouble. Yeah, there's other people who have been before. I love stunning people with this. Oh, here we go. You have no idea who you're tangling with. Oh, that did not work. Okay. This dude is immune to being stunned. I think I hit the wrong button when I was... Alright, oh, that's my healing staff. Oh, of course. That's usually how it goes. Ow. Let me switch staffs. Hold on, hold on. Ugh. I thought. Must be out of practice. What's that on the floor? Indigore's orders. It seems as though his relic is no longer here. I confess I am at a loss. It appears to have been removed centuries ago. I cannot spend any more time looking into this now, so I leave it in the recollection's hands. Study the shrine, delve into the history of this place, and find out who took the lamp. The lamp? And Azura's relic? Send word if you learn of anything useful and prepare yourself. Mora's champions are sure to find 
this place soon. In the meantime, I must turn to my efforts to the other relics. Torvasard. I bet the other relics are also Daedric Prince relics. What do you think, Baragon? Looks like we found the recollection, or some of it. I didn't know Endegor well, but what I knew of him, I didn't like. Mm. A bigoted radical at best. I'm surprised he would work with any non Bosmer at all. What's in that letter? There are instructions for Aragorn from Torvasard. May I see? Huh. That settles the question of whether Torvasard and the recollection are working together. It was no coincidence that we met here today, friend. The note says Torvasard is looking for a relic. A lamp. According to the letter, they haven't found it yet. Or even any leads to its whereabouts. If they had, Endegor would be off with Torvasard, looking somewhere else by now. I wonder what happened to the lamp. I might have something that can show us. Do you see anything unusual here? Something unusual? Let me see. Ah, over by the altar. Is that what you're looking for? Yup. Look at that eyeball. is no longer safe. We must move the lamp. But where can we hide the relic? I know a cave to the north. The lamp should be safe there once we apply the appropriate spill. Was that a memory from the Marie Thigera? Ooh. Never mind that. Who's this high elf? Oh. I am Laramel, little wood elf. I assume from what we saw in that memory that Torvasar did not find what he was looking for. You're right about that. A strange vision. They were worried about the aliens, but there haven't been aliens here in centuries upon centuries. Speaking of strange, it looks like we've gained a new companion. I assume you know that high elf. This is Laramel the Wise. I'm helping her look for Torvasard. I see. Well, since it looks like the recollection is working for him, I guess I'm looking for Torvasard now too. <laughs> there are plenty of recollections skulking about in Westweald. I'll meet you there if you run short of other leads. I'll remember that. Good luck, Baragon. Nature's luck to you too, friend. I have a feeling our paths will cross again. Oh, absolutely. I will see you in June. Let us speak, Proxy. Curious. There was a relic of Azura here. A lamp. No doubt the mages who removed it feared this place would be sacked by the Alessians. A memory preserved since the early First Era. I wonder what Torvasard wants with the lamp. Well, where do we go now? Hermaeus Mora requires you to make that decision without his guidance, Ah, Proxy. that's right. Torvasard disturbed fate in three different locations. The one who knows must have a reason for instructing us to visit each one. What do you think we'll find in Reaper's March? I am not sure. Reaper's March includes some of the oldest Khajiit cities and temples. They have always had a more nuanced view of Daedric powers than other cultures. I am curious what we will uncover there. What about Stonefalls? What would be there? The one who knows requires us to learn that for ourselves. I know that. However, I cannot help but notice that these troubles all began in the Telvanni Peninsula. And now it seems we must return to Morrowind. Perhaps there is a connection. Well, I'm definitely saving that for last. But let's continue. Excellent. In the interest of hastening our investigation of these perturbations, a physical translocation... I shall open <laughs> portals to save us time. Choose one, and I shall follow. Okay. You're my companion now, Laramil. We're gonna go to Reaper's March. Whichever one is the portal to Reaper's March. Are we gonna go to a delve or another alien ruin? Because there is. Oh no, we're in the. Oh! You should be able to right. perceive the threads of fate here. Follow them, Proxy. Even more interesting. This is the temple of the. Two moons path. Ah, uh, the faith walk 
Joker arrives just as Hermora foretold. Oh, hello. Audrey Jad saw your coming in the tides. Hermora wished this one to greet you here. So it is that our fates cross paths. What is it you seek, Faith Walker? I'm looking for a Dramora named Torvasard. His actions threaten reality itself. All right, we're just going for it. Audrey Jad has seen no Dramora. But that does not mean your quarry has not been here. There is change in the air. A change that began long ago. Hmm. Audrey Jad knows. You should seek the blessing of the children ever mourn. Seek a blessing? What do you mean? Visit the nearby shrines of beloved John and Jod. Pay your respects. In days of old, we Khajiit would pray to the twins to bless our paths with moonlight and sugar. Perhaps it will be so again. Very well. Where are these shrines? The shrines are here in this courtyard. Old Rejad can tell. You have a long journey ahead of you, Fate Walker. You will need the blessings of the two moons. Return after you have paid your respects. What do you mean a long journey ahead? This place is just a stop along your path, Fate Walker. What you ultimately seek is not here. But do not despair. Old Rejad thinks you had to come here. And his heart tells him. Your journey will take you to strange and distant places indeed. Well, I've already gone to strange and different places. <laughs> Alright, Rijad. What is next? The moon spirits favor you, Faith Walker. Old Rijad sees your path clearly now. Hmm. Yes. Though the twins remain silent, their light shines upon the path. For those who know how to see it. Audrejad understands now why the Tide Watcher told him to meet you here. What do you mean? You seek an unraveling fate, yes? This one now realizes that means examining an event from long ago. Hermora wishes you to see a memory trapped in the stone of this place. Yet, how could we do such a thing, old Rijad wonders? I have a relic. It reveals memories. A thing blessed by the Tide Watcher himself. Hmm. Old Rijad was never one to deal in relics of any origin. Still, if that is its purpose, then use your relic here. Let us see what it shows you, Fate Walker. All right. The first main has shown us a new path. This temple is to be raised. So commands Rita Ridata. Two moons. Jeez. No, this shrine is under Boethia's protection. Let this Boethia. A relic of Boethia now? Why does Boethia want this temple to remain intact, sisters? Do not question the warrior of the East and West, my sisters. Now, back to Dokren. Is there a relic of Boethia in there that they're trying to get now? Ah, interesting. Old Rijad is an expert concerning those days. Strife consumed all of elsewhere when the cult of Riddlethar spread like a storm across the sands. One could say, Boethred died in that time. Any idea why Hermaeus Mora wanted me to see this memory? The Riddlethar kicked sand over old beliefs. Many Khajiit turned away from Boethra. The warrior of the East and West was abandoned. Only a Dokrin temple was her worship preserved, to the monks there fell too in time. You think there's something important about the Dokrin temple? The faith you follow was knitted there. Udrejad sees it now. Hermora wished you to relive that old memory, so this one could tell you of Poethra. 
Your quarry's path leads to Dokrin. Now, so does yours. Rajad will mark the place on your map. Okay. Laramel? Wait. Ah, I bet you Laramel's gonna meet me there. Alright. I gotta run all the way down there from the Ralka Way Shrine. But that is an alien temple, I really don't. Wait, is that the alien one? I can't remember. It's been so long. Let's go check it out. Ooh. Oh, hi, Laramil. As I expected, our paths have once more come together. Enter the portal proxy. Oh, well, I'm always the one to go first. Ooh. All right. Who am I going to fight here? Why did Torvisard oh. seek out a shrine to Boethia? Yo, Torvisard! Wait. Up above. Torvisard is here. Ah, Mora's champions. I expected to run into you eventually. Boethia's blade, a bolisher, is mine now. Dang, he got the it. The first of the three relics I require is in my hand. Soon, Prince Ethelia will be restored. I hope you are there to witness her glory. A relic of Boethia? I knew it. One moment, Proxy. We should speak. So, I wonder what the other, the third Daedric Prince relic Torvisar is going to be. departed and took Boethia's blade with him. If only we arrived sooner. But did he get the lamp? perhaps we were not meant to stop him here. Fate often takes many turns before it reaches its destination. I wish I knew why he wanted the relic, though. What now? We must determine what awaits us at the final site. Twice now, the threads of fate have led us to a Daedric Prince's shrine. I imagine we will find a third such shrine there. Yeah. The question is whether Torvisard has found another relic or not. Well, let's get there. Good. Allow me to create another portal to speed our journey. It appears we are in a race against Off to stone falls. And so far, he is winning. But it doesn't seem like he got the lamp. So he's not exactly winning. But I guess we'll find out in stone falls. I wonder which prince has a shrine in stone falls. So it was Meridia and now Boethia. It's definitely not Vermina or Periite. Daedric energy lingers in this place. Tangled with threads oh, it's a delve. Of okay. <laughs> we always end up in a delve in a prologue. Follow the threads of fate, Proxy. I shall cast about for any other signs of his activity. This is probably one of the ones he's beaten us to. Or we will get here at the same time as him? Or find it at the same time as him? Mafala. That's the Daedric Prince. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Mafala, oh. Shrine of Mafala. Oh. I forgot Mafala's the sp yeah. Why do I always keep forgetting? Like it's it's right there in the back of my mind. Mafala's the spider looking one. And I also said that we've dealt with uh, like we're dealing with Mafala again and I completely Why forgot. Would fate lead us to an abandoned Thing. shrine? There must be something here. Lots of spiders, that's what's here. Me don't like it. What's a dance along the webs? Too much for me to read. Larry Milk can sum it up. That ancient book stirred up a memory. Use the Echinea to examine it, Proxy. And then it's gonna lead us somewhere else. The tribunal's ordinators hold our brethren. We need the skein of secrets to free them. 
But the scheme is lost. We must beseech the Lady of Whispers to help. Um, another lost relic. The secret sanctuary. The circle we stand upon is the door. We need but a single drop of blood to open it. Thank you for giving me the answer. <laughs> that wasn't obvious at all. Ah, oh, I see. This ritual circle conceals a gate, activated by a little blood. Let us see where it leads. Just prick my finger, that's all I really need. Oh, portal to Sanctuary of Whispers. A jump. More spooters. Don't you run away from us. Oh, hey, Torvasard. Nothing. Fate seems to be fighting back. I wonder how much of that is because of you. Torvasard, talk to Fate's Chosen. Tell us what this is all about. Yeah, man. You talked to us before. Fate's Chosen? How presumptuous a title Hermaeus Mora has bestowed upon you. The Prince of Fate is using you, mortal. Long ago, he and his allies inflicted a terrible wrong on my prince. Now he hopes you can stop me from undoing that damage. I feel like I haven't been this close up to him yet before. He looks... Yeah, he does. He does eh. Tell us what you're trying to do, Torvasard. Make us understand. That's all we want to know. What's going on? How can a mere mortal understand the convolutions of oblivion? Prince Ethelia, the Prince of Paths, Mistress of the Untraveled Road, Fate changer, the dark reflection, the last tomorrow, she who saw and wept. Moira, in his jealousy, erased her. What do you mean erased her? Hermaeus Mora convinced other Daedric princes to conspire against Ethelia. He played upon their fears of the unknown. None of them understood the gift of choosing what is to be. They all turned against my prince. So this is about revenge? Revenge? No. That is for my prince to meet out. I am a scion of Ethelia, and my ancient purpose is to restore her to power. To undo what the cowardly princes did to her. And the very relics they used against Ethelia will help me find her. Is that what you're looking for here? A relic? My father's skein of secrets. Don't bother looking. It isn't here. It seems my father's alien worshippers locked it away in some vault beneath Westweald long ago. No matter. The skein would help, but I'll find another way to reach my prince. Hermaeus Mora says reality itself will be undone if you find Athalia. And you believe Mora? Kind Stand of. Aside, mortal. I will not be swayed from my purpose. A skein of secrets used to defeat Athelia long ago. I cannot help but wonder what became of it. Come, Proxy. The spiders Let respond. Us As I thought, this is about ancient relics. Torvasard believes they can lead him to Athelia, the forgotten prince. But I do not yet see how he hopes to make use of them. We investigated all three disturbances. What now? A good question. I find it interesting that Torvasard was not satisfied with only one relic. He wanted to recover three. A blade associated with Boethia. A lamp from a shrine of Azura. And a skein created by Mafala. Hmm. I wonder. What are you thinking? These princes are known as the Good Daedra in Dunma tradition. That's right. Long ago, they often allied with each other to guide and protect the people of Morrowind. Why did I say Meridia earlier? I meant Azura. Oh my god. Probably because of the lamp. I was like, light! Meridia! <laughs> my bad. What do Good Daedra have to do with Torvasard's forgotten prince? 
I am not sure. It might prove useful to consult with someone better versed in ancient Dark Elf religion than I am. Fortunately, I believe I know just the elf. Our dear friend, Gadein. Gadein! Come, Proxy. I shall open a portal to Vardenfell. Let's go see Gadein! Gadein! Laramil, you returned! But I know that look. What's wrong? Torvasard once more moves against Apocrypha. He seeks to restore the Forgotten Prince. I'll let our friend explain. I finally resolved to see the world beyond Necron. Yay! With some assistance from Laramil, of course. Then Hermaeus Mora called her away again. I'm glad to see you're still helping her, friend. Did I hear correctly? Torvasard has returned? Yep. Torvasar plans to use relics of Azura, Boethia, and Mafala to locate Prince Ithalia. What I know about Daedric princes and relics, I learned at Laramil's side. If she doesn't know what it means, I can't add much more. The good Daedra haven't been widely worshipped in Morrowind for ages. How do you think they're involved? Torvasar said they conspired with Hermaeus Mora against Prince Ithalia. Hmm. I've never heard any such story, but... Holomeon Monastery is just north of here. The monks there preserve the old Velothi traditions. If we're dealing with ancient myths about the good Daedra, they might be able to help. All right, let's head out. Go on ahead. I just need a moment to uh, confer with Laramil. We'll meet you at Holomeon shortly. We may need to convince the monks that we come in good faith. They rarely welcome visitors who don't share their beliefs. Okay. Ah! <laughs> there they are. It's nice to look it's at shield, but let's not. I let suppose we could down. knock. We have no time for this. I shall open a portal. No need for that. <laughs> the Golden Eye foretold your coming. Welcome. Oh. The abbot. Greetings, champion. Forgive our the Golden Eye, Hermaeus Mora himself, spoke to me in a dream. Oh. He told me you were coming here. I am Andor Indoril. It is my honor to serve as abbot and historian of this monastery. Hermaeus Mora speaks to you? Only this once, which is why I thought it best to listen. So long as you promise not to harm any monks nor remove any tomes without permission, you may explore the monastery freely. What exactly do you seek here? We're looking into the relics of Azura, Boethia, and Mafala. A blade, a lamp, and a skine. I know of a few blades sacred to Boethia, but I am unfamiliar with lamps or skeins. They are not among the relics commonly associated with our ancestral spirits. However, there are more secrets preserved here than any one scholar could ever uncover. What do you recommend? The Holomayan Library, of course. We have many volumes found nowhere else. Follow me, champion. We keep the main entrance sealed, since the more stringent ordinators consider our brethren to be heretics. I assure you, they are not. Then lead the way. Ah, I just sent your friends to the library. It's down the stairs to your right. Okay. Touch, 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 touch. No, I'm just kidding. I won't be disrespectful. Look, the Echolir has something to show us. Fate has led us true again. Secrecy is everything. Yet, we must leave something behind in the event that we fail. Even if we succeed, the Nidwat again may arise some long tomorrow from now. Kogamor will not allow that to happen, but I agree. We should leave instructions here for those who come after. Are these followers of all that three princes? Book. It is the very one those three ancient priests were handling in the memory. Examine it, Proxy. Well, yeah. I'm not going to read all that. 
Those devout priests offered themselves so their princes could meet in secret. Oh, yeah, We right. must find the gate they used. It could be the access to Apocrypha Torvasad is seeking. What about the relics? How do they fit in? Torvasad said the relics would help him find Athelia. He must believe they will lead him to a gate to Apocrypha or the final glyphic in the mythos. We need to find the gate first, but I have no idea where the Shrine of Inevitable Secrets lies. If it's a shrine to Hermaeus Mora, can't he just tell us where it is? Oh no. <laughs> the course of fate is never that simple. Yeah. Many futures branch from each choice we make. If we know too much, we risk altering our choices and changing the outcome. I know. Therefore, Mora tells us only what he must. As fate's chosen, I you will, will lead the way. the way. How do you suggest I do that exactly? We are in a monastery dedicated to ancient knowledge. There must be a book or scholar here that can point the way. Abbot Andor said our coming was foretold. Perhaps the one we are meant to learn this secret from will know you as well. All right, I'll ask around. <laughs> one, wait, one, two, oh, three, oh, three, okay. Well, I have questions. Curious. I sense a powerful arcane aura surrounding you. You carry something rarely seen on this mortal plane. It reeks of the black arts of oblivion. Wondrous. May I see it? Sure, this is the Echoneer. Fascinating. A relic crafted by the Golden Eye himself. Few mortals have ever laid eyes on such a thing. I can see you have been chosen by Hermaeus Mora for something special. A rare honor indeed. You worship Hermaeus Mora? Worship implies the subject of one's devotion, desires, adulation. Hermaeus Mora is beyond such vanities. I give him my respect, not my prayers. If one wishes to uncover the secrets of the plains, it is merely prudent. Do you know where I can find the Shrine of Inevitable Secrets? Ah, the fabled shrine of Anud Nabia. Some Anud say Nabia? the disaster occurred after the birth of the tribunal, but I think it happened in the Merethic era. He might if not be that stands, far off. It would be along the shore to the north. Perhaps your relic can help you locate it. Well, how did it happen to be the first person that I talked to? I overheard your conversation, Proxy. Anud Nabia is just to the north of here. Gadain and I will meet you there. That's how you that's how you always do it. I gotta walk it. And you get the teleport. And here are my friends. Oh, Proxy. Just in time. Use the Echomir and see if some lingering memory can lead us to the shrine. Oh. Then that is where we must go. Mephala, Lady of Whispers, take this mortal shell. I am ready. Boethia, I call upon you. Dark warrior, let me bear you to the conclave of princes. Well. That's interesting. Priests allow their princes to possess them and wade it into the water. Huh. I know where to find the shrine. Are we going to have a journey underwater in the bubbles again? Obviously. Anud Nabia's lost shrine sunk into the sea ages ago. A fitting end for a place dedicated to the master of the you know tide those, those acolytes fate. died. But that will make it difficult to reach. How do we get to a sunken shrine? A submerged shrine calls for a powerful spell. I shall weave an arcane <gasps> shield that will allow Yay! us to breathe and walk upon the seafloor. Once those ancient priests were possessed, 
They must have done the same. Enter the sea when you are ready. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! I want to be in a bubble again! Ooh! There we go. Ooh, look at that. Hermes Mora. I'm in a bubble again! Look, Sharp, we're in a bubble! Gadane, you don't look so good. He didn't look so good for a second. Look at- damn, look at those crabs. I forgot- like, this is so cool. And it really does slow you down like you are underwater. What the- What's that? Look at us, strolling along the seabed like it was a street in Necron. Steer left and move straight ahead, both of you. And watch out for any large predatory sea lions. I saw something swimming around that did not look friendly. That would be funny if you could fight while inside these bubbles. Oh my goodness. I'm in the bubbles again. Yay! Oh! Up ahead! I think I see the shrine! Oh, there's an interior at least. They're so cool! This is it. After you, Proxy. As per usual. Into the shrine we go. Bloop. Demiplane, not an island. Ooh. We are no longer on land. Torvasad must be near. I doubt the recollection reached this place without his help. Laramil is exhausted. Go on. Find Torvasad. We'll catch up. Alright. Time to go fight some recollection warriors. Alright, Torvasard. Did you find what you were looking for? Boethia's blade led me to this portal. The path to the mythos. Apocrypha's heart. Only those bearing the essence of Azura, Boethia, or Mafala can access this portal. Ah. The gate recognizes Boethia's blade. Now what? I can return to the mythos and find my prince at last. A permanent portal to the mythos. I did not know such a thing existed. Well, damn. Of fate. Hold. We must speak. Am I not going to get to go right now? Is this going to be the, the end of the quest? Is here. Speak with him, Proxy. I can't go to the mythos yet, can I? Tovazar proves surprisingly resourceful. I created this gate to admit none but the mortal vessels of my allies to Apocrypha. Yet the relic of Boethia he carries deceived my defenses. Ah, clever ploy. Where did Torvasard go? To the mythos, obviously. Torvasard has breached the mythos, the heart of my realm. Twice before he found his way to Delphi, holding part of the secret he seeks. Only one part remains sealed. You must stop him from reaching the glyphic of shattered reflections. How? The gates close and we don't have any of your allies relics. Well, he created it so he can open it? <sighs> Created this game. And yeah. <laughs> I command it still. Behold, this portal is open and will take you where Torvasad has gone. What happens next is in your hands. I dare not interfere with fate more than I have. What do you mean you dare not interfere? You are the chosen of fate. This task is appointed to you 
Not by me, but by the demands of causality and consequence. If I try to suck to a facade, I will fail. You, however, always have a chance. That is the nature of mortals. Now, go. Yay, we get to go. And we do get to find the uh, help. See, we get, do get to see the other glyphic. Yes, they do get to come with me. Ooh. The of Apocrypha. Part of Hermaeus Mora's domain. Torvasad is somewhere ah, ahead of phone. us. Whoopsie. Didn't realize my phone was not on vibrate. Fun. Okay. Let's go fight lots of. Yep. I remember an answer to Torvasad's call. Let's just run. Run fast. Amulet can protect us both. You're not gonna do anything? No, I will take them on myself. As long as they can't knock me off this thing, we're good. <laughs> Dude, God, I almost rolled off myself. <laughs> No! I will do this- well. I will do this myself! Gosh. I went the wrong way. Oh! Okay. That's new. I don't think I've seen this before. I don't know which one to go for. Oh, hush. I don't care. No. That's it. I'm too stubborn. Damn it. No, oh, go fight that dude. Did I go no, I didn't go the wrong way. It's so confusing and I have a mini map. <laughs> Can. Did I just go? Well, no, I didn't. Okay, I was like, wait, did I just go in a whole China circle? No, I didn't. Laramil's gift protects us both. Hush, Gdain. Oh, no. Let the breath of faith restore your strength. It's a morphic Feel the currents of faith flow through you. You good? Of course you are. <laughs> Oblivion are they? I do not recognize these Dremora. Perhaps Torvasad is not the only one beginning to remember the Forgotten Prince. As I was thinking, those dudes, those dudes were new. Ooh, uh oh. Glass Manticora. The Glass Man Manticora. Okay, hold on. First of all, 
This, yeah, because that's a level 41. At least that's CP now. Um, I don't have anything else. Destruction staff wise. Okay, well. Well, thank you, I guess, Torvasard. Oh, it's shielded of her. Sharp alone. I'm just gonna keep like green beaming the this dude. Whoa! It's almost down. Almost down. There we go. All I got was a Rubidite curious. What the what? That's ridiculous. The glyphic of shattered reflections. He found the last glyphic. The last glyphic and the final secret. I kind of want to know. I really, really want to know. Ethelia. We all want to know. Forget? Why should I forget how I took this mortal shell and trapped Ethelia with my skein? Azura and I did our part with these vessels of flesh, and the land, and the Bavasha. Listen, my fellow princes, the Lord of Fate is right. Imprison Athelia in your mythos, Mora. Then erase all memory of her existence. Imprisoned by cowards. Mafala agrees. Abandoned by betrayers. But I remember. And I know how Is she to up free there? My prince. Oh gosh. I guess we have to meet Athalia. Away, alone for millennia. I will free my prince and restore her glory. Torvasad opened the prison. Let's go inside. Let's go meet this this prince Athalia. Ooh. Oh. by a question I could not even frame. This is my answer. See, I don't know if the dungeon DLCs did any had anything about this. What? Are you okay, Torvasard? Are we gonna be working together? Are we gonna fight? Am I finally gonna kill Torvasard? I don't know. I'm conflicted. I do not understand. Where is Prince Ethelia? If she escaped, why did she not contact me? 
You! Is this some new trick of the Lord of Fate? Look, man, I'm just as surprised as you are. No. This is no trick. Do you see? Prince Ethelia has escaped. She freed herself from this prison. But did Hermaeus Mora know? By some hand Doesn't seem mine. like it. Perhaps the simple act of remembering restored her power, dissolved her bonds. I uh, do not know. If she escaped, where would she have gone? Prince Athelia is the mistress of the untraveled road. She could be anywhere. Perhaps she will be drawn to places or things she knew before her craven foes locked her away. Yes, that must be right. And I know what I must do. Farewell, mortal. Wait, where are you going? I still have a task to do. I need to find my prince. Help her. Restore her to the power that is hers by right. And there are other scions out there. I remember them, too, now. Oh? Mortal. Fate's chosen. I expect our paths will cross again. Torvisard, wait! A fate forged the moment Torvisard opened the first clinic and began to remember. Return to the mythos. This is pretty in here. Mortal. You know, it's kind of a pretty prison. We must speak can't deny this is this is a bit of a pretty prison that's a big chair well Ithalia is a daisy prince also I kind of like how this is going with like um we're not outright being like we gotta kill Torvisard or I am but like in the game it's just like we gotta get information we gotta like we're, we're un, uh, unwillingly helping him, but in, in a way. But also, like, dude, are you okay? You, you seem just as confused and conflicted. I am called the master of the tides of fate. I perceive everything that may come to pass. Yet, I cannot select the outcomes I prefer. Choice. And chance determine which possibility actually occurs. Such as this one, Ethelia, is free. How? You said Tor if that if Tor Torvisard succeeded, reality would end. Were you wrong? Well, Ethelia might not be at full power yet. I did not lie, chosen of fate. Nor was I mistaken. I told you what you needed to know to avert catastrophe, and catastrophe has been averted. For now, the outcome I foresaw will still come to pass. It is only a matter of time. Can you tell me how Prince Athalia escaped? This spire was never Athalia's prison. Being forgotten was. Ah. The son finally remembered his prince. Its power to hold Athelia began. So to Torvisard was right. Now, new paths form before us. Some lead to survival, others, destruction. And what can we do to avoid destruction? A question we all must ponder. Yeah. Ethelia and her ilk are unseen. I cannot perceive their actions, nor can I share what I surmise, lest I unduly affect the course of events. Take counsel with Lirumil the Wise, and wait for a new path to open. All right, then I'll talk to Laramil. Laramil? Prince Athelia has escaped her prison, yet reality persists. Oh no. And Torvasad understood events no better than we do. As I have seen time and time again, the machinations of oblivion are far beyond mortal comprehension. Hermes Mora told me to seek your counsel. So I heard. 
and he did not send us to pursue Torthasad. It appears that the next step we take must be our choice. Hmm. We should return to Nern, regroup, and follow the advice of the one who knows. Wait for a path to open before us. Isn't Athalia the Prince of Hearts? That fact has not escaped me, Proxy. Torvasad spoke of restoring his lost realm, Miramor, he called it. And he thought that Athelia would return to places that were familiar to her. Let us return to Grotwood and confer with your friend, Baragon. Okay. Um, this is probably where it's going to end. Be like, well, we gotta go to the West Weald, which won't be until June. But it does seem like Miramora might be a pretty place just for what the prison looked like. Ooh, there's a lot of people here. I am relieved to observe the perpetuation of the macrocosm. Our reality has hmm. not unraveled yet. For now, we must wait and watch. Eventually, I shall notice Torvasad's passing in the threads of fate. Then I shall send for you, Proxy. Wait, that's it for now? We just wait? For now, yes. Oh, mud crab. From things Torvasad said, I expect we will find him in West Weald. I shall confer with Baragon about the area and alert you when you are needed. Thanks to you, even though Athelia is free, we still have a chance to preserve our world. Okay. Prince Athelia, the Forgotten Prince. The prince that Hermaeus Mora so feared that he imprisoned her and erased her from existence. Now she is free and Torvasad searches for her. I suspect we will see signs of their activity before too long. What are you going to do while we wait for a sign? First, I must return Gadain to Necron. He Aww. must watch over Morrowind in case I am wrong about Torvasad's next move. Then I shall go to West Weald, consult with Baragon, wait, observe. Eventually, Athelia's presence will disturb the threads of fate. And you'll contact me as soon as you learn anything? Of course, Proxy. You are fate's chosen. Any hope we have of averting disaster rests with you. I am only here to aid you in these efforts. For now, go on with your usual activities. We shall need your strength and courage soon enough. Good luck, Laramil. Well... Ithalia escaped in it! <laughs> Just remembering Ithalia. <laughs> huh. Okay. And Hermes Mora didn't say anything. Well. But, oh, Shimmer Snap. That's that's a cool name. <laughs> Mirror more. More than an illusion. <laughs> well. Um. I, mean, I don't know what else to say. I, I was expecting a little bit more. But also, I'm not surprised we don't get to see Athalia face to face just yet. I wonder if we'll get distance, like, glimpses of her throughout the main quest in June, like we kind of did with, um, the one antagonist in High Isle. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, yep, I might not sound like it, but I am excited to see what's to come in the West Weald, um, in the Gold Road chapter this June. But for now, I will enjoy the next month of the anniversary event for 10 years of the Elder Scrolls Online again. Happy birthday to ESO, and I will see you guys in Gold Road. Goodbye.